can you help us settle something? We were having this conversation and I don't exactly know the right answer to this. So Belle, that we made a few days ago, does she have a villain or not? Because the conversation that we've been having, it's like, well, the beast is the villain or what, but the beast ultimately ends up the guy that she's married to. So then it becomes a weird, like 50 shades of gray thing, like the tormentor and the, it's very weird. And so I'm going with no villain, but you let me know what you think in the comments. And that actually does have something to do with today's, you know, pour. But before I talk about today's pour, hello, I miss this open clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things and have all the pool debates. And today we are actually not making a villain soap for Belle. We are making a sidekick soap and we are making the chip soap. And I think that's awesome. I love Chip. As a sidekick, he's one of my favorites for sure. He is such a cute character. And you know, Beauty and the Beast, that's one of my favorite Disney movies, like period end of. I think Belle's my favorite Disney princess because she likes books and I like books and it's all a thing. And you know, Chip, he's adorable and he's resourceful and he's funny and he's cool. And so George May is going to be making the sidekick soap of Chip today. Now, cool pour, like with the Beauty and the Beast stuff, we really wanted to play with some different sort of techniques and we're kind of looking more like more abstract things instead of doing just like strictly dress related and villain, you know. Yes, so that's what she's going to be playing with today. And you know, let's go watch her pour and we can talk about what she's doing and her overall soapy vision and you can see whether or not it worked. So do you guys remember when we first started the, the Disney inspired stuff? And we did, uh, Anna was the beginning of that for my niece's birthday and it was fun it was super awesome back in like july and it was cool and then georgia got into it and she made like i don't know i think the next six disney soaps because she was super into it and even the ones where i was like i call dibs this one's mine Ultimately, she ended up sneaking it in and she was making it anyway, which is super cool because I love watching George May do the things. But I was also, you know, wanting to do the Disney things too. And so we came to an agreement that from now on, we will do either, if we're doing a princess, we are going to do a princess and a villain or a princess and a sidekick if there is no villain because I don't I don't think Belle has a villain right I don't think there's a villain in Sleeping Be or in Beauty and the Beast I mean Gaston isn't really a villain he's just like the bad blind date that wouldn't end so it's not really a villain and also I don't I don't necessarily think that Gaston deserved to like die and like fall off the thing or whatever. I mean, maybe he'd actually now, now that I think about it, he was actually trying to kill the beast. He was pretty crummy, but still. Anyway, not really a villain, I wouldn't say, just an annoyance and a smaller part of the whole plot. And so we are doing a sidekick soap today for Belle instead, and George May is doing Chip.
And I'm super excited about Chip because I love Chip. He is adorable. He is such a cool sidekick. He's like, he ranks up there with Flounder as far as sidekicks go. But yeah, we decided after, you know, George May was doing all the cool Disney things and I'm like, I want to play too, that anytime we do a Disney inspired thing, I will do one of them in the little set to, you know, match or whatever, and she will do the other. And so, so far it has worked out, right? We did Merida and the bear, and that was cool. So she got to do Queen Eleanor, and I did Merida, and that was awesome. And then, so this one, I did Belle, and she is going to do Chip. And I think that's, that's acceptable, right? That's fair, fair's fair. And then, cause they're fun. Like, who doesn't love Disney? So I get, well, it's beautiful. Like for the Taylor Swift stuff, I totally like, I get that that was, that was my project. And that was something that, you know, I don't think that Georgia May would be super interested in doing. She does listen to Taylor Swift now because I listen to Taylor Swift, but I don't think she would be super interested in doing it. And so, for those projects, like the really big you know, passion projects, like the Bob Ross thing that, you know, George May did, I, I don't, I wouldn't even know where to begin. And so that is all you. I am not interested in that. And like the soap dough things that she's done for like the succulents and the lithops and stuff, that is her passion thing. And I am not interested in that. So I don't want to go and try my hand at it too. But for Disney, like everybody loves Disney. So we have to share. And so we're going to share and I love that. So we are doing, this is the new, this is the new thing. So you're going to get, you know, one from each of us from now on. And I also think that's kind of cool because it's kind of fun to see if we can, how well we can pair things. And we kind of came to that realization that it would be fun to do that when we did the Sanderson sister bars, because that was, again, I did Winnie and Mary and she did Sarah. And so it kind of becomes a fun trick to like make them all make sense together, you know? And so, yeah, Chip, she has all the pretty pastels going on because he's that cute little cup and he's got the cool little design on him with the pretty pastels. And he is so much fun. Like, honestly, like when everybody, when the spell was broken in Beauty and the Beast and all the, 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 the objects went back to their human form, I was, he was the one that I wanted to stay at like a cup the most. I kind of wanted them all to stay as their, you know, object forms because they were super cute and it was cool. And, but Chip was the one that's like, aw, you're adorable. You're just the cutest little teacup running around with your little lisp and you know, whatever. And now he's going to grow up because the spell has been broken and He's going to turn into like a, a person, which is cool. He'll be a cool like grown up, but I wanted him to stay a cup. He's adorable. Now with this, I haven't actually seen, she's done a Michael line, but I haven't seen any sculpting going on yet, which is very interesting for Georgia May. She tends to really like to do the sculpted layers. And so I am uh, I'm curious to see where this is going. I love those colors. Purple, blue, and pink always look so good together. There's a reason for that, but you know. So, I mean, I'm just stating the obvious, but they're good colors. They're really nice. Now, for this scent blend that she did for this, she did an Earl Grey tea, which I thought was so, that was super smart. Like it's, it became, as soon as she said she was doing an Earl Grey tea, my brain went, well, obviously you're doing an Earl Grey tea. Oh, there's a sculpt. Okay, so she's gonna pull something through. She's gonna carve a soap. I like it. Cool. Super awesome. But yeah, I, as soon as she said she was doing Earl Grey for her, I went, of course it's gonna be Earl Grey. What else would it be if not a tea scent? But I didn't, like with Belle, it immediately came to mind, oh yeah, we're doing book leather and a rose done. But for Chip, I'm like, I have no idea what we could make him smell like. I don't know. And she said that. And I'm like, Oh, of course I'm an idiot. That's, 
So it's perfect. He smells like Earl Grey tea and he's a teacup. That's, that's cute. That's, that's adorable. See, just those little attention to detail things, the things that, I don't know. I think the things that other people sort of like, uh, take for granted, right? All the work that goes into the selection for everything to like fully do a theme and other people just, I think kind of walk by them. Like, why did you make the Ashen Mud Bar, the Tarclinium Bar, out of activated charcoal. Well, because fire and blood, ash and mud, smells like dragon's blood. Like, thought goes into it. It's whatever. And it ultimately doesn't matter because, you know, you put the thought into it and so it makes you smile. Like, <laughs> I'm so clever and I like being clever. These little spritzers are so annoying. I, this is how you break a spritzer right here with the bang bang like that. I learned that the hard way. I think at this point we only have one spray pump, like the actual top of the thing that works. And so we have like 14 of these sprayers, but all the pump tops have been broken. So now it's just moving it from one container to the, uh, it's all a thing. I love the texture that she did on that and then decided to cover in a Michelin. Like, again, that won't show with the pretty, look how gorgeous that is. That's not gonna show, but I know it's there and I appreciate it because that's a beautiful, beautiful textured top in the middle of the bar covered in a lovely gold mica. The mica will show, but the texture kind of won't. So it's, but again, the little details that other people might might miss or the things that I think really really make soapers happy in general I guess and so she sculpted the purple to go to the pink and the blue and then she didn't sculpt she didn't pull anything through the pink and the blue she did another mica line and now she's back to yellow do you think we're done with sculpting like it's chip, right? And it's also Georgia. So I'm thinking we are probably going to get a another sculpt with all of this. A way to incorporate the chip in chip, really. Knowing Georgia May. That batter's super thick though. That's I gotta see what oil blend she used and the batter did get very thick I mean this video is rather long actually and that's why I didn't start it with the you know, mixing of the things but that batter is way thick mm, so for this she actually used the big bubble blend and so my big bubble blends are usually between 65 and 70 percent solid oils and so that's why it's getting thick um the scent blend for Earl Grey, I don't know that we've ever used, oh no, we, we have, we've done it in the Lufa soaps. We did that during the spring slash summer line for the Lufa soaps, we did tea loofahs. And I don't remember it accelerating, but maybe it did, I don't know. I think she might just have a thick batter because she's using the big bubble blend. But again, that's good. For layers if, especially if you're gonna be pulling things through them and again I think she's going to end up pulling something else through this and making a chip is my guess I really don't know I have I did a very very rough edit on this and just cut out sort of dead space where nothing was happening and I'm kind of watching it right along with you like paying attention to it so I'm intrigued let's see what Georgia May does Mr. Soap and Clay said we should have a Georgia do the voiceovers for for her soaps every once in a while. Like, talk to us about your thinking. Talk to us about your design. And that's a good idea. I mean, oh, she's topping it. Okay. So maybe no chip. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, she, she remembered before she put the whole mica line down. Good job. Good on you. Good on you. Yep, so she got a chip. That That's simple. She 
she has her little chip. Just a cute little, little sculpt there. And yeah, no, I just, I really do think we need to find the little coffee sifter thing for Michael Lines. If we're gonna keep doing this for all the Disney soaps, and it seems like every time we do a Disney soap, there's always a reason to do a Michael Line because Disney and sparkles and I do believe in fairies and all, yeah, all the things we should find the little coffee powdered sugar sifter thing. Now what's going on here? She put a mica line down, now she's putting more soap on top. Do you think? I'm interested. Do you think she forgot to put it in before she did the chip? Or do you think this was intentional? It feels like what she's doing that it was intentional, that she reserved it to put it in at the end for a reason. So, cool. I mean, Georgia always knows what she's doing. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm curious. I, I would like to know if she forgot it or she did it or she did this on purpose and it was all part of her plan. I really don't know though. She's gonna have a heck of a time keeping it out of the the V that she made for the chip though. And that is not fun. I don't know. Maybe this is a lot of fun. Maybe other people like seriously thoroughly enjoy really thick soap batter. But anytime I see really thick soap batter, I just get my anxiety goes, oh God, no, that's not fun because air pockets and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, air pockets are so easy to fix. You've seen me do it a bajillion times. And yeah, now I really do want to know what was the what was the reasoning for this? Was this all intentional or did you forget the soap? Or did you forget to put the soap in? And she's dusting it again. Cool. There's your nice awesome topper. Love it. That's beautiful. But now your chip's gone. I wonder if she's gonna put a new chip in it. Do you remember what side she had the chip in the first time? Because that would be the trick. That would be the thing that I would not know. And I would be super, like, I would mess it up. And so there would be a weird hole just that means nothing on one side. It would be crazy. But that's super cute. I actually like that chip and that pull better. So that's awesome. Oh, gosh, I love the shiny top. It is so cute. This is going to look so good with the bell soap. I can already tell just because... It's all gold and beautiful. And her yellow looked a lot like my yellow too. So this is this is exciting. This will be put in the oven for C Pop and Gel. There are no embeds or anything melt and pour in here that we would have to worry about. But again, George May always has great luck with melt and pour embeds and they when they melt, they melt in perfect ways, not in I ruined all of the pumpkin spice soap ways. That was me. I did that. So yeah, let's put this in the oven and check out the cut. And onto this cut. And that looks so fun. We've got some beautiful mica lines hanging out around there. The top of the bar is super cute. Now, we started, we decided to start going more abstract with the designs, right? So Merida and her bear, her mom, Queen Eleanor, and Belle with the putting more into the thing than just, you know just the dress and so we put like the book in the middle and then did the rose and that is so cute that is adorable and that is one big glycerin pocket that is crazy wow it's real shiny too the bar is very white it's having the camera's having a hard time focusing those are big glycerin like concentrated glycerin areas that's very interesting that is super cute I really like the swoopy that's going on with the white into the yellow, like the, the main part into the yellow because it's almost like tea sloshing and that's super awesome. I mean, I don't know if that was intentional, but it's super awesome. And the mixing of the purple and the pink and the blue in that layer, that's fun too. I think though, if this is acceleration. I think the best thing to do in the future for pores 
would probably be to do an in the pot swirl for that purple, blue, and pink and just dump it all in the mold at the same time. Like, unless she was like going for layers that didn't quite work out. But the, the parts that I see that have the purple and the pink and the blue kind of mixed like that one there in the middle, kind of mixed together more. I think they're super pretty and I love that. So I don't know, I love this bar, it's super cute. It definitely screams chip, even without the chip on top, but obviously she put the chip on top, so that totally works. And the old gray blend is always delightful. And this is a really pretty sort of pair for the the bell soap, really. That's that's adorable, it's chip. See, I told ya. It's a day 223, the sidekick bar for bell, chip. Of course it worked. It's Georgia May. When has Georgia May not made an epic soap? I mean, the 2020 Earth bar was something, but it was fitting. It, it still ended up totally working because, you know, 2020 has been a dumpster fire, so that Earth shouldn't have looked like the real Earth. Anyway, this soap is no exception to Georgia May's excellent artistry, and of course she's brilliant at all of the things, and this is adorable. So pairing Belle and Chip together, it's the cutest thing ever, and love it yes and the blend the scent blend that she used for this like it's perfect so cute and i love everything about this and these two bars together they're available on the website soapandclay.com or individually either way do your thing if you are interested in more soapy antics uh subscribe to the channel that would be cool we are doing a lot of really crazy stuff and december is getting like december content is going to be really weird because i'm looking at what we can do between now and christmas that isn't necessarily holiday so we're doing some really fun experiments and some soapy stuff and there are going to be some disasters i can just smell it and so it's gonna be fun so you should subscribe and you can learn some stuff or enjoy some stuff or watch me make messes of some stuff and that would be awesome for those of you who have been subscribed and have watched me uh do experiments of some stuff and make messes of some stuff and all of the things thank you so much i really appreciate you being here as always, every day, you make me happy. And it makes me happy to see a comment or to see it. Thank you so much for being one of my sudsers. I really appreciate you. And I am done for today. So I will see all of you again tomorrow. Bye.